right forget about decimal for some time 35 square 25 3 into 4 12 23 square 529 now you if you keep decimal that becomes 12.29 5.29 minus x goes to the other side right hand side 13 will come to left hand side so now out of 17.54 if you subtract 13 answer 4.54 2809 50 square is 2500 this is more than that 55 square is 3025 so this is between 50 square and 55 square and ends with so between 50 and 55 which square ends with 9 53 by 159 into 18 53 3 times 18 by 3 6 19 exactly how many times 4 times 4 how many times 4 times come on 4 3 is 12 again 3 times and 2 times 332 hmm. 63 3 is 189 come on 239 minus 189 50 and then 4 63 how many times last digit verification 8 times only 401 minus 38 that is equal to subtract 1 first that becomes 400 now we have to subtract only 37 correct so 363 is equal to 3 into x square then x square is equal to divided by 3 which is 121 121 is which number square 11 square 11 answer for all the options number after decimal is different right so we can consider that minus x goes to the other side point after decimal how many maximum number of digits are there so write in a 3d state format 666 0.65 can be written as 650 and then 500 correct last digit so after decimal your number should end with 6 and there is only 1 clear So right, so right hand side, when you look at the options, all the numbers after decimal different, right? Minus x goes to the other side, right hand side will come to left hand side. Is that clear? So it becomes a negative number only. After decimal, 34 minus 26. 0, 8. From this, if you subtract 19, answer must end with Point nine. Matanya Pandi point eight nine. See from one out eight, you have to subtract nineteen. Answer eighty nine. Clear. There is only one option. Right. So now six exactly six times two three times. So x is equal to. 49 by 3 into 1 by 21 7 7 times 7 3 times so 7 by 9 15 square 225 16 square 256 plus 480 so that is equal to 961 961 is 31 square only which is x plus 16 whole square then x must be equal to 15 over can we write 15 square as 3 square into 5 square 5 square cancellation in 100 you will get 4 only then x is equal to 1935 into 4 divided by 43 into 3 square 9 is this clear come on two options are nine
చేయాలి నైన్ టూ టైమ్స్ వన్ అండ్ ఫైవ్ టైమ్స్ ఫార్టీ త్రీ ఫైవ్ టైమ్స్ ఫైవ్ ఇంటూ ఫోర్ ట్వంటీ See, after writing x is equal to 1935 into 4 by 43 into 9, we are done with the answer. In the numerator, do you see 5 multiple? Come on. And into 4 we have. Look at the denominators. Are the denominators even numbers or odd numbers? So in the numerator, 4 multiple will be there as it is? Into 5. 5 into even number ends with 0, right? So your answer must end with 0. How many options are there? 2 options are there. Second option is 8 multiple. Fourth option is 4 multiple, correct? In the numerator, do you have 8 multiple? You have only 4 multiple, right? So can this be your answer? No. Right, come on. 6084 by looking at the last number 4 you can end with number either 2 or 8 70 square 4900 much more than that 80 square 6000 our number is less than 6400 only but close to that so that means your value should be less than 80 so i'll treat it as 78 is that okay right so 169 divided by 78 78 two times 156 come on still how much remainder you have 150 13 13 by 78 13 how many times is 78 six times come on otherwise after getting 169 by 78 you are done with the answer you know that you are going to get mixed fraction? Come on. So this B value must be factor of 78. Factor of all First option. What is here? 6. Is 6 is a factor of 78? That may be your answer. Is 7 a factor of 78? Second cannot be your answer with the same logic. Fifth also cannot be your answer. Correct? Is 4? A factor of 78 no. and next no seven 17 times only minus 17 goes to the other side becomes plus 17 how much is the right hand side number so 210 divided by x is equal to 70 then x is equal to divided by 70 so answer 3 Minus x goes to the other side. These two numbers comes to left hand side. Okay. 390 minus 260. 130. When right hand side numbers comes to left hand side. Minus 9 square becomes plus 9 square which is 81. Plus 8 square becomes minus 84. That is 64 only. 81 minus 64. 17. Come on. 17 plus 30, 130, 147. Or else simply go for last digit verification. Positive numbers ends with? Come on. 130 and 81. Positive number ends with? Negative number ends with? 1 minus for answer must end with? Only 1. Denominator 16. Can we write it as 4 square? Into 4 is already there. That is 4 cube only. Yes. 4 power 4 by 4 cube. That is 4. Can we write 4 as 2 square? Yes. Already 2 square into 2 square. That is 2 power. Four. From exponent 6. How much should be subtracted to get 4? 2 must be subtracted. Option 5. Clear. 4 into 5. 20 how many times? 6 plus 11, 17. 3, 3 times? Come on. 5 into 3? 
15 6 times and again 3 times 2 into 63 126 right hand side number plus 1 will come to left hand side so which cube value is 125 5 cube So these are number of laptops sold by six stores in five different months. What is the average number of laptops sold by store E during all the given months together? E. All months together. So average. So denominator comes divided by? Okay, come on. So sum of all these numbers divided by five, that is one way. The other way is? Come on. Benchmark, start with the benchmark. Look at your options. All the options are about 200 only. Yes. You may take benchmark as 200, 210, 220, 230, whatever you want. I'll start with 200. Okay. Come on, look at the first number. That is 27 less than 200. Yes. Next number, 52 more. Next, 6 legs. Next, 52 more. Next. So, sum of all positive numbers is equal to 173 negative numbers 33 173 minus 33 now 140 must be adjusted among five numbers so already we made it as 200 and extra we are getting 140 by 5 how much is this value 28 200 plus 28 228 first option As this is average for 5 numbers, we are not going for last digit verification. If it is some other number, probably we can verify last digit also. Okay, now. Right, next. The total number of laptops sold by Story F during all the given months together is? What percent of total number of laptops sold by Store C during all the given months? Okay, C and F. Right. F value comes in numerator or denominator? Numerator. Come on. And C value comes in denominator. Now let's see. 100, 100. 200, 200, 200. Total? 800. Correct? 80, 70, 150. So far? 950. 80, 10, 90, 30, 120. So far, 1,070, 1,070. Now units digit, 3 plus 7, 9 plus 3, 12, 12 plus 8, 20, 20 plus 10, 30. So total what is C value sum? 1,100. And then we have to calculate F value, come on. 200, 200, 200, 200, 4 200s, 800 plus 300. 1100, 600, 400, uh, sorry, 60, 40, 100. So total 1200, 1230, 1250, 1270, 1287. 1287. Two zeros, two zeros cancel. 11, 1, 1, 7 times. So 117. Okay, now, what is the difference between total number of laptops sold by all the given stores in February and uh, laptops sold by all the given stores in May? If all the numbers are ending with different numbers, then we can go for last digit verification. But two options are there which are ending with same. So I don't want to take any risk. So let's calculate exact difference. February and May. February. Right, and then May value. So you can add all the values and then go for a difference, that is one way. Or take individual values and then sum of those numbers. Okay, now 269 minus 269. I'll cancel these two. Even ni add JC Dan launch with these eight mega da. Okay, now 269, 269 cancel. Is that okay? Next, uh, 314, from this I will subtract 234, 
that gives me 80 come on next 183 minus 179 that gives me 4 194 minus 188 that is 6 come on 252 minus 238 nearest number right so that is 14 329 minus 156 come on 173 ok 80 4 plus 6 10 90 90 plus 14 104 when you add these two you get 277 instead of adding all the numbers I am choosing nearest numbers so that simplification becomes easy ok now nah. Ilana endu this kawali, nin vere combination this coach kada. Yes, this coach, adi meistam. Yalaina this coach, that's up to you. This is comfortable for me, so I followed it. What is the respect ratio between total number of laptops sold by store B in March, April? Together, B in March, April. B in March, April together. 4, 4, 8. Ratio A is to B or A by B form. Total number of laptops sold by store D in same months together. March and April. 364. Correct. Cancellation with 4. 1, 1, 2. And this is 91. Again cancellation with 7. 7 ones, 6 times. 7 ones, 3 times. 16 by 13. Number of laptops sold by A in January, 264, 264 is what person more than laptops sold by same store in the month of March, in the month of March, 173, so 264 is how much more than 163, yes, difference is 91, right, now take 50 percent which is 86.5, to this we have to add 4.5, right, come on. What is 1% of the denominator? 1.7 2 times is 3.4 yes. 3 times is 5.1 yes. This is more than 2% yes. But less than 3% Can I approximately treat it as 2.5%? Yes. Then answer must be close to 50 to 1.5% yes. Which option is correct? Yes. Rounded off to nearest integer 53 final Over Some amount of 14,000 was invested at 11% per annum simple interest and the rest of the money invested at 9% per annum simple interest. After 3 years, the total interest occurred from both the schemes was 4296. What amount was invested at 9% per annum simple interest? You can use linear equation. For 3 years, if the interest is 4296, for 1 year, that is divided by 3? Come on. Directly we can divide number with 3 because all the both the schemes offer simple interest. If it is compound interest we cannot do. Yes? Right. Divided by 3. How much is that? 1, 4, 3, 2. What is 1432? One year interest. Correct? So out of total 14,000, let me treat X rupees invested at 9% per annum. So principal in... First scheme where the rate of interest 9% per annum is X. Then the other principle becomes 14,000 minus X. Correct. On X rupees what percentage we are calculating? And then on remaining amount? 11%. When you add both that must be equal to 1432. If you solve it you will get your answer. That is one way. The other way is allegation. Allegation. What is total principal? 14,000. If the total principal is given at 9% per annum, that is 10% minus 1%. How much is that? 1260? So you will get 1260 rupees. If the total money is given at 11% per annum, you will get 11% which is 1540. But one year interest is equal to 1432 only. Right. Now go for allegation. This is 108 and here it is 
वन सेवेंटी टू देना सो नाउ कैंसिलेशन कैंसिलेशन विथ फोर टू टाइम्स सेवन टाइम्स फोर टाइम्स थ्री टाइम्स सो योर फोर्टीन थाउजेंड मस्ट बी डिवाइडेड इन द रेशियो ट्वेंटी सेवन इज टू फोर्टी थ्री सो नाउ एट द रेट ऑफ नाइन परसेंट प्रैनम देर आर ट्वेंटी सेवन पार्ट्स आउट ऑफ सेवेंटी इंटू फोर्टीन थाउजेंड सेवेंटी टू हंड्रेड टाइम्स आंसर फाइव थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड दिस इज एलिगेशन मिक्सर देर इज वन मोर ब्यूटिफुल मेथड रिवर्स मेथड there is one more method reverse method okay now what is your question about you were asked to calculate principal given at 9 percent per annum ante na reverse method ante against statement iskoni start cheyali whatever is asked you must start with that case does not exist meek edaithe kavalo adu ledu anukoni start cheyali manaki 9 percent per annum choppin ichina principal kavali So against statement, I'm out on the. There is no money which is given at nine percent. So total money is given at eleven percent. Total money in the sense how much? Fourteen thousand. When you calculate eleven percent of this number, how much you are getting? Fifteen forty. Correct. Per year, according to this rule, for three years, if interest is four two nine six, for one year, you said it as one four. Three two correct, but how much we got? Fifteen forty. Did we get more or less? How much more? Instead of fourteen thirty two, if you get fifteen forty, how much more we got? One hundred. What exactly is the reason for getting one hundred eight rupees more? Because there is some money which is given at nine percent, but that we converted to. Eleven percent. So, how much percentage have you increased? Ah? Huh? So, because of that two percent, if the increase is one at eight, one percent value is divided by two only. Yes. Now, we want principal that is hundred percentage. Two fifty four times into hundred answer five thousand four hundred. That's all. This is reverse method. Reverse method. Let me Ryle's name under do. Only mind to allocate instrument take. over next a boat can travel 32.4 kilometers downstream in 64.8 minutes so how do we calculate downstream speed we will convert it to 60 minutes in 64.8 minutes distance covered is 32.4 What is relation between sixty four point eight and thirty two point four? Half. So in sixty minutes, how much distance can be covered? How much distance can be covered? Thirty exactly. Right. Right. So in sixty minutes, distance covered is going to be thirty. In which stream? So downstream speed is equal to m plus s, which is equal to thirty kilometer per hour. If the speed of the current river current is five kilometer per hour. S is equal to five. From this, m is equal to twenty-five. How much distance it can travel for upstream in forty-eight minutes? Upstream in the sense m minus s, twenty-five minus five, twenty. In how much time? Forty-eight minutes. Correct. So distance d is equal to speed into time. Forty-eight minutes converts to hours by sixty. Twenty-three times forty-eight by three, sixteen kilometers. Actually, in the local da, me kosam if formula vaden kani. Otherwise, it is not required. What do we want to calculate? Come on, in which stream? You know already upstream speed is equal to twenty kilometer per hour in the sense. What is here? इकड़े ट्वेंटी उ करेक्ट इकड़म्मा अपस्ट्रीम स्पीड ट्वेंटी किलोमीटर पर आर्मी क्रास चपेल ट्वेंटी किलोमीटर्स इन वन अवर् दट सिक्सटी मिनट्स व्हाट इज द रिलेशन बै थ्री करेक्ट 
and how much time is given in question so divided by 3 will give you e simplification mind lo chesko galra if yes this is not required ledu adi ardham kavatledu inka kuda unnai what do you mean by 1 hour 60 minutes what is 10 percent 6 minutes here how many times of 6 we have eight times that means 80 percent of one hour right yes. come on yes. then it will cover 80 percent of 20 kilometers 80 percent of 20 how much is that 16 that's all at the mind the if the total price of 12 shirts and then 16 trousers is 1872 what is the total price of 42 shirts and then 56 trousers i have discussed yesterday right yes, yesterday or day before so number of shirts proportionate increase in shirts and trousers must be same right yes. how many shirts are there in the information yes. and in question so now you need to get relation between 12 and then 42 okay yes. now 12 divided by 4 12 divided by 4 3 into which number will give you 42? 14. That means divided by 4 into 14. Let's see, is this satisfying for trousers also? How many trousers are there? 16 divided by 4. 4 into 14. Same number we have? Then amount also should follow the same? 18, 72 divided by 4 into 14 correct come on okay 8 to 27th end wale two options unnai two options unnai okate answer 10 pajindi ba rendu unnai we have to solve come on 44 16 <laughs> come on pillalu 27 6 times and then 8 times okay into 14 we have answer must end with 2 7 63 25 42 63 34 62 62 62 62 62 ide answer 7 multiple verify chesa last digit verify chesa namma first 8 into 4 enta 32 ends with so first fourth fifth eliminate ayipenya into 14 undi kabatti 7 multiply avalsindena yes. third option kodam 7 9 times 63 correct yes. 34 we have 7 4 28 6 yes. we have and then 2 62 is 62 7 multiple no. third also eliminated second final ledante calculate cheyal malli okay na right next suvarna is older than ratna by 6 years if after 4 years the respect to ratio between suvarna's age and ratna's age will be 3 is to 2 what was suvarna's age 4 years ago okay now according to the information you know ratio given as 3 is to 2 and from the ratio how much is suvarna's age three parts must be three multiple right ఎప్పుడు ఎప్పుడు ఆఫ్టర్ ఫోర్ ఇయర్స్ ఇది ప్రజెంటేజ్ ఆఫ్టర్ ఫోర్ ఇయర్స్ ఆఫ్టర్ ఫోర్ ఇయర్స్ త్రీ మల్టిపుల్ అని తెలిసిపోయింది అంతేనా అసలు క్వశ్చన్ ఏం అడిగారు సువర్ణ ఏజ్ ఎప్పుడు ఫోర్ ఇయర్స్ బ్యాక్ ఇక్కడ కావాలి అంతేనా ఎస్ ఆర్ నో ఆన్సర్ ఎక్కడుంది ఆప్షన్స్లో ఉంది ఆప్షన్స్లో ఏముంది సువర్ణ ఏజ్ ఫోర్ ఇయర్స్ బ్యాక్ ఉంది అదేలే సువర్ణ ఏజ్ ఫోర్ ఇయర్స్ బ్యాక్ కానీ మీకేం తెలుసు ఆఫ్టర్ ఫోర్ ఇయర్స్ త్రీ మల్టిపుల్ అని తెలుసు అంతేనా ఫోర్ ఇయర్స్ బ్యాక్ టు ప్రజెంటేజ్ హౌ మెనీ ఇయర్స్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు యాడ్ ఫ్రమ్ ప్రజెంటేజ్ టు ఆఫ్టర్ ఫోర్ ఇయర్స్ హౌ మెనీ ఇయర్స్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు యాడ్ దట్ మీన్స్ టు ద ఏజ్ ఆఫ్ సువర్ణ ఫోర్ ఇయర్స్ బ్యాక్ ఇఫ్ యూ యాడ్ ఎయిట్ ఇయర్స్ దెన్ యూ విల్ గెట్ సువర్ణ ఏజ్ after 4 years and that should be a multiple of 
సో ఆన్సర్ ఎక్కడుందన్నారు ఆప్షన్స్కి ఎయిట్ యాడ్ చేసిన తర్వాత అదేమవ్వాలి ఫస్ట్ ఆప్షన్ సాటిస్ఫైడా సెకండ్ ఆప్షన్ ఎస్ మేబీ యూర్ ఆన్సర్ థర్డ్ ఆప్షన్ నో ఫోర్త్ ఆప్షన్ ఫిఫ్త్ ఆప్షన్ ఫైనల్ ఆన్సర్ ఇఫ్ యూ వాంట్ టు సాల్వ్ ఇట్ ఇన్ ద ఫస్ట్ కండీషన్ వీ వర్ గివెన్ ఏజ్ డిఫరెన్స్ బిట్వీన్ సువర్ణ అండ్ రత్న ఈజ్ ఎప్పుడు అది వెన్ ఈస్ దర్ ఏజ్ డిఫరెన్స్ సిక్స్ ఇయర్స్ ఎనీ టైమ్ ఎనీ టైమ్ ఏజ్ డిఫరెన్స్ మస్ట్ బీ సేమ్ సో ఆఫ్టర్ ఫోర్ ఇయర్స్ ఆల్సో దర్ ఏజ్ డిఫరెన్స్ మస్ట్ బీ సిక్స్ ఇయర్స్ ఓన్లీ ఆఫ్టర్ ఫోర్ ఇయర్స్ అకార్డింగ్ టు ద రేషో హౌ మెనీ పార్ట్స్ డిఫరెన్స్ వీ హ్యావ్ దెన్ ఇట్ మస్ట్ బీ సిక్స్ ఇయర్స్ దెన్ త్రీ పార్ట్స్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు దెన్ ప్రెసెంటేజ్ ఆఫ్ సువర్ణ ఈజ్ ఫోర్టీన్ ఫోర్ ఇయర్స్ బ్యాక్ ఇట్ షి మస్ట్ బీ టెన్ ఇయర్స్ ఓల్డ్ రత్న గురించి మనకు లేదు కదా అందుకనే మనకు అవసరం లేదు ఓన్లీ సువర్ణ గురించి మాత్రమే రాశాను ఓకేనా టోటల్ నంబర్ ఆఫ్ స్టూడెంట్స్ స్టడింగ్ ఇన్ ఎ స్కూల్ ఇస్ ఫోర్ జీరో టూ జీరో ఇఫ్ ద గర్ల్స్ నంబర్ ఆఫ్ గర్ల్స్ ఇన్ ద స్కూల్ ఈస్ నైన్టీన్ ఎయిటీ వుడ్ ఈస్ ద రెస్పెక్ట్ టు రేషియో ఆఫ్ నంబర్ ఆఫ్ బాయ్స్ టు ద నంబర్ ఆఫ్ గర్ల్స్ ఓకే నంబర్ ఆఫ్ గర్ల్స్ ఆర్ నైన్టీన్ ఎయిటీ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ ఫోర్ థౌజండ్ ట్వంటీ అంతేనా difference between total and girls will give you boys yes. this fellow is how much more than 4000 come on 20 this fellow is how much less than 2 4000 2020 and then we have to add 20 20 20 plus 20 20 0 0 cancel denominator 198 when you look at that fellow what did you observe 11 multiple in the numerator do you see 11 multiple then in your final answer your denominator must be 11 multiple yes, yes or no yes. how many options are there yes. only one first option final over if the price of sugar cane increases by 22 percent what should be the approximate percentage decrease in the consumption of sugar so he has to keep the expenditure constant okay if sugar price increases by 22 percent expenses also increases by 22 percent and becomes 122 but it has to be constant expenditure must be constant that means it must be 100 only correct so from 122 you need to make it 100 so how much reduction should happen 22 from 122 percentage into what is 10 percent of the denominator 12.2 what is 20 percent 24.4 so what is your numerator so from this you have to subtract 2.4 only approximately can we treat it as 2 percent if you subtract 2 percent from 20 percent answer 18 percent ఓవర్ ఇదే క్వశ్చన్లో ఇంకొక చిన్న చేంజ్ కూడా ఇస్తారు అదేంటి పర్సన్ కెన్ ఇంక్రీజ్ హీస్ ఎక్స్పెన్సెస్ బై ఓన్లీ టెన్ పర్సెంట్ ప్రైస్ ఆఫ్ షుగర్ ఇంక్రీజెస్ బై ట్వంటీ టూ పర్సెంట్ దెన్ ఎక్స్పెండిచర్ బికమ్స్ వన్ ట్వంటీ టూ అంతేనా కానీ ఇక్కడ ఎక్స్పెండిచర్ ఫైనల్గా ఏమన్నారు కానీ అతని దగ్గర టెన్ పర్సెంట్ ఇంక్రీజ్ అవటానికి డబ్బులు ఉన్నాయి అర్థమవుతుందా సో నౌ హీ ఈస్ ఏబుల్ టు స్పెండ్ instead of 100 he can spend 110 but still because of price increase value becomes 122 but he has only 110 still he need to reduce the consumption right come on how much reduction must be there from 122 percentage into 100 approximately 10 percent of the denominator is 12 10 percent final ardhamainda right కాన్సెప్ట్ తెలుసు కదా ప్రైస్ ఇంక్రీజ్ అయింది అనుకోండి క్వాంటిటీ తక్కువ వస్తుంది మీ దగ్గర హండ్రెడ్ రూపీస్ ఉన్నాయి యాపిల్ టెన్ రూపీస్ కాస్ట్ ఒక్కొక్క యాపిల్ 
ఎన్ని యాపిల్స్ వచ్చాయి అమ్మా ఓకే ప్రైస్ ఇంక్రీజ్ అయింది ట్వెల్వ్ అండ్ హాఫ్ రూపీస్ అయింది ఇప్పుడు లాస్ట్ మంత్లో ఎన్ని కొన్నారు ఇప్పుడు ఎన్ని వస్తాయి కమాన్ ఎయిట్ యాపిల్సే వస్తాయి సో క్వాంటిటీ ఇంక్రీజ్ అయిందా డిక్రీజ్ అయిందా క్వాంటిటీ డిక్రీజ్ అయింది అప్పుడు మీరు ఏం చేయాలి తక్కువ యాపిల్స్ వచ్చాయి ఏం చేయాలి తింటం తగ్గించాలి కన్సంప్షన్ రెడ్యూస్ చేయాలి క్వశ్చన్లో ఉన్నదే కదా నేను మాట్లాడింది కొత్తగా కాదు ప్రైస్ ఇంక్రీజ్ అయితే క్వాంటిటీ తక్కువ వస్తుంది క్వాంటిటీ తక్కువ వచ్చినప్పుడు కన్సంప్షన్ డిక్రీజ్ చేయాలి అవునా ఎందుకు అతని దగ్గర ఎక్స్పెండిచర్ కాన్స్టెంట్ ఉంది లాస్ట్ మంత్ ఎంత స్పెండ్ చేశారో హండ్రెడ్ రూపీస్ ఈ మంత్ కూడా అంతే ఎక్స్పెండిచర్ ఉంది అవునా అలా కాకుండా నాకు ఎక్స్పెండిచర్తో పని లేదు నాకు క్వాంటిటీతోనే పని ఉంది అని అన్నారు అనుకోండి లాస్ట్ మంత్ మీరు ఎంత ఖర్చు పెట్టారు హండ్రెడ్ ఇప్పుడు ప్రైస్ ఎంత అయింది ట్వెల్వ్ పాయింట్ ఫైవ్ మళ్ళీ ఇప్పుడు టెన్ యాపిల్స్ కొన్నారు అనుకోండి మరి ఈ మంత్ ఎక్స్పెండిచర్ ఎంత అవుతుంది వన్ ట్వంటీ ఫైవ్ ఇంతకుముందు ఎంత అయింది హండ్రెడ్ సో ప్రైస్ ఎంత పెరిగింది టూ పాయింట్ ఫైవ్ విత్ రెస్పెక్ట్ టు టెన్ రూపీస్ ఎక్కడి నుంచి టె టూ అండ్ హాఫ్ పెరిగింది అంటే ట్వంటీ ఫైవ్ పర్సెంట్ పెరిగిందనేనా మరి ప్రైస్ ట్వంటీ ఫైవ్ పర్సెంట్ పెరిగితే ఎక్స్పెండిచర్ ఎంత పెరిగింది ట్వంటీ ఫైవ్ పర్సెంటే పెరుగుతుంది ఇఫ్ ప్రైస్ ఇంక్రీజెస్ బై ట్వంటీ పర్సెంట్ ఎక్స్పెన్సెస్ ఇంక్రీజెస్ బై ట్వంటీ పర్సెంట్ ఇఫ్ ప్రైస్ డిక్రీజెస్ బై ట్వంటీ ఫైవ్ పర్సెంట్ ఎక్స్పెన్సెస్ ఆల్సో డిక్రీజెస్ బై సేమ్ ట్వంటీ ఫైవ్ పర్సెంట్ అర్థమవుతుందా రైట్ సో ఇప్పుడు ప్రైస్ ట్వంటీ టూ పర్సెంట్ పెరిగింది అని అన్నారు కాబట్టి ఎంత అవుతుంది వన్ ట్వంటీ టూ ఎక్స్పెండిచర్ కాన్స్టెంట్ అవ్వాలి అని అన్నారు మన దగ్గర ఎంత ఉంది ఎక్స్పెండిచర్ హండ్రెడ్ సో వన్ ట్వంటీ టూ హండ్రెడ్ అవ్వాలి అంటే ట్వంటీ టూ తగ్గాలి ఎక్కడి నుండి వన్ ట్వంటీ టూ పర్సెంటేజ్ ఇన్ టూ హండ్రెడ్ ఇది మనం క్యాలిక్యులేట్ చేసాం ఆన్సర్ అప్రాక్సిమేట్లీ ఎయిటీన్ పర్సెంట్ వచ్చింది అర్థమైందా నేను చెప్పిన ఎక్స్టెన్షన్ ఏంటి ప్రైస్ ట్వంటీ టూ పర్సెంట్ పెరిగింది కాబట్టి ఎక్స్పెన్సెస్ వన్ ట్వంటీ టూ అయింది బట్ అతను హీ క్యాన్ ఇంక్రీజ్ హిస్ ఎక్స్పెన్సెస్ బై టెన్ పర్సెంట్ అంటే ఇంతకుముందు ఎక్కడ ఉండాలి హండ్రెడ్ ఇప్పుడు ఆ టెన్ హండ్రెడ్ కాదు ఇంకో టెన్ పర్సెంట్ ఇంక్రీజ్ చేయగలుగుతున్నాడు అంటే ఎంత ఉన్నాయి వన్ టెన్ స్టిల్ సరిపోగా క్వాంటిటీకి వన్ ట్వంటీ టూ ఇప్పుడు ఏమవ్వాలి వన్ టెన్ అవ్వాలి ట్వెల్వ్ రిడక్షన్ ఫ్రమ్ వన్ ట్వంటీ టూ పర్సెంటేజ్ ఇన్ టూ హండ్రెడ్ ఓకేనా రైట్ ఇఫ్ ప్రైస్ రెడ్యూసెస్ ఏమి ఇంక్రీజ్ కన్సంప్షన్ క్వాంటిటీ విల్ బి మోర్ సో విత్ దాట్ యూ నీడ్ టు ఇంక్రీజ్ ద కన్సంప్షన్ సో ప్రైస్ అండ్ కన్సంప్షన్ బోత్ ఆర్ ఇన్వర్స్లీ ప్రపోర్షనల్ if any two variables are inversely proportional you can use inversely proportional rule for always increase of x by y there must be decrease of x by x plus y what happened to price here 22 percent increase that means 22 by 100 increase happened correct then how much decrease should happen 22 out of x plus y 122 percentage so into 100 that's what directly you can write this step any two variables which are inversely proportional to each other you can use that rule sum of five consecutive odd numbers in set a is 215 1 2 3 4 5 sum of five consecutive numbers is 215 when you calculate average that gives you middle number only average in the sense divided by 5 how much is that 43 consecutive odd numbers 45 47 next what will be the sum of set b containing four consecutive odd numbers set b has four consecutive odd numbers if the smaller odd number in set b is 16 more than highest number okay highest number in set a 47 to that number if you add 16 that becomes 63 okay now we were asked to calculate sum of numbers one thing you can do is you fill all these four numbers and then add that is one way the other way is even in set b also all these numbers are consecutive numbers only yes. now to get sum of numbers it is number of numbers multiplied by average matladru yes. average in the sense between these two numbers it will be there correct 63 to next number how much you have to add 62 you have to add and becomes 
65. And to get next immediate number, how much you need to add? 1. So average becomes? Come on. Average is 66. Then sum is equal to 66 into number of numbers 4. Okay. How much is that? 264 or you can simply go for 11 multiplication because 66 is 11 multiple answer must be 11 multiple ok now the side of the square whose area is 784 784 is which number square 20 then side of the square is equal to 28 is equal to the diameter of the circle that means 2r is equal to 2, 28 then r is equal to circumference 2 pi r 2 22 by 7 r 14 7 how many times 2 times 2 into 22 into 2 88 the population of village x was 24,000 in 2004 it increased by 15% from 2004 to 2005 hold initially it is mentioned as 24,000 increased by now 10% plus half, right? What is 10%? 2400. Half. 1200. Sum. 3600. Now value becomes 27600. Next. And by certain percentage from 2005 to 2006. If the population of village X was 30,319 in 2006. So after this something is added here and finally value becomes 30,000. 912 correct how much is added 3312 is added antenna now 3312 is calculated on which number 27600 only and increase in percentage that's what we were asked to calculate antenna what is 1% of 27600 276 ends with into some number then finally ends with come on 6 into which number ends with 2 either 2 then your rate of interest must end with either 2 or 7 only how many such options are there over this value must end with either 2 or 7 so answer must end with 2 or 7 that's all are you done In a show, total amount received after selling 640 tickets was 675. If children were charged 15 rupees per ticket, adults were charged 20 rupees per ticket, how many children attended the show? Okay, right. Linear equation is possible? Let us assume X children. From each child they are charging 15 rupees. Out of 40, if X children are there, adult are 40 minus X. From each adult they charge 20 rupees and total money is 675 okay now you can even use allegation mixer also if 40 tickets are children 40 into 15 600 amount will be collected from the children if all are adult 40 into 20 800 would be collection correct but total collection given as 600 and then go for allegation this is 125 and it is 75 ratio 5 is to 3 so children to adult ratio 5 is to 3 number of children is equal to 5 out of 8 into 40 that is equal to 25 so these are children correct now another method come on beautiful one that is reverse come on what is your question how many children are there so against the statement says there are no children then all are how many adult are there 40 and from each adult how much is charged 20 so 40 into 20 collection would be but how much is given in question how much we got 800 how much more we got 125 why did you get 125 more because there are few children available that we converted to adult if you convert one children to one adult, how much more value increases by? Five. Correct. 
So now, if you convert one children, amount increase is equal to 5 rupees, but total increased amount, we got it as 125. So how many children are there in the sense divided by 5, which is 25, over. Okay, now. Done everybody?